Oh, okay, guys, let's continue with our mission. Size totally. You know, enjoy the randomness. You are disturbing me, buddy. I almost saw the biggest problem and you mess it up! Yeah? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, well it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. It's the grand theory of theories. There is just one more big problem. Maybe I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I need. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but oh. you make a, a fine buffoon. <laughs>
wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Am I missing something? The switches. The bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Oh my god, this is what a fool doesn't know how. Because he doesn't know what the dangers of a lightning rod, right? So he just do his job, so he die fast too. <laughs> okay. Two. Lucky he didn't fly, fry me yet. Oh my... What? <laughs> no way. No way. He lives! My son lives! <laughs> what is it? It is life itself. Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? Is that it? For now. I am so Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. First man. Okay. Bill Robot. Re 
recently. The Moy Raider. Caroline. Father, Blueprint Mary, uh, Lamarca Cornwall, Charter Clint. Let's just go. Sometimes I really hate this horse. Just run to the opposite side. Where I want it. I thought I saw a naked guy. I should have just shot him when I saw him. The next time I see him, I'll shoot him. Good pal. Just ran into the wood. Just want to end of the rain, you know. It's not even clear. Dang it.
Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> Get bumped into. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? He shrinks respect. Excuse me. My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I thought that I had killed, the men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death was worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe the world in which we came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Oh, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth. The water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Try with me, now! Stop. Please. Stop. Impotent Please, fool. Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this friend, Barth? Please. What up? What else have you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. Who else will come with me? Oh, all right, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. And me. I guess. Pity all Bill. right. Let's ride out. losing his mind but it's not wrong though if you think carefully he's not wrong just doing 
Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No. No. Go. Please hurry. Help me. Come on. to use some unfill. It's a massacre. We gotta help these men. Did anyone see Eagle Flash? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you want, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and strap them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you... Ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with them. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Let's ride! Uh... Don't just let them. Bolt shouldn't rot shotgun. Duo killer. Just follow order without even thinking. But people. Dead, 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 just we need to get the back. dead. It's like a war already.
damn. Some of them are really tough. Like we going to war, huh? Oh shit! So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey, you saved your life. You did. You're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy, same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. Don't get you no more. Oh, the cowdy. Howdy. Come on, get him out of here! All of you! Come on, let's go finish things. Finish what? On the couch. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Now here, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here! I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. Shit. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flash. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. Yeah, we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. Come on. Don't doubt me no more. We doubt you. Doubt came from life. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. Been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Where? Wow, some money clip. That's it. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, 
We are nearly there. Horse, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Or are you just gonna leave us to die, let's huh? Get out of here, no matter how much I think, but I know he's gonna leave us to die. Not really. General. Come on, Arthur. We have got to get out of here. Where's that coward? Hey! Cover me, Arthur. Thanks for sticking your stupid head out. Motherfucker. He, he betrayed us. Gunslinger. Just stood and watched. If it wasn't for 
Eagle flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. Basically, he lied from the beginning. He like saved all those money and then just lie, the big score, and then rinse and repeat. Think about it. People are so dumb. They're just using us to get what they wanted. He's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. Right, go yes, Captain Pache, Senor Pache T. My son. Sacrifice so much. I'm sorry, but we must pack and move. The only way you can understand how this game is, you have to live it. Right, go yes, my senor. Topiogalosis. If only you all see what I saw. 
6,000 Gang share, you share zero <laughs> Oh Dutch You dumb fuck I already am you dumb f Hello, welcome back Hello What were you looking for today? So that attack on Fort Wallace Saying it was Indians. It's the guy who stands. It will do you view. good to fear clean. If only for a few moments. It's right next door. <laughs> High roller revolver. What has happened to that <laughs> weapon? You need to give it a little care. Yes, somebody in love. Where did I get this high revolver gun before? Did I get it from... I don't even know. Look at the state of that weapon. It hurts me to see. Oh. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. <laughs> Arios, uh, Arika. Arigato, senor, uh, Arigato. Oh, I got a free gun and ammunition power, too. Never expect that, though. Somebody to hear, somebody hold me in your arms. It will do you good to fear clean, if only for a few moments. It's right next door. Okay, now let me see. No, oh, sad, isn't it? We can't sell them anyway. Evil revolver. Oh, oh. What I run? Some of the gun are free in anyway. it. <laughs> Each mission just gave us different repertory of shotgun. I know. There are some desperate people in this town. You may want to stock up now. Yes, I know. Thank you, my friend. And I'll wait to give this a try. It will do you good to fear him. It's only for Take care now. Hey, pardon. Hey. He never take a map once, so let's try take a map. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. Whenever you're done, just say the word. Sorry if I smell in a while. Oh, you. I'm just gonna let her do their thing. <sighs> I can always be worse. Oh, I'm sure. I don't have gossip around here. The more you get to know this place. The window just open, people just walk past by and you can watch them. Past few months? Probably been the toughest of my life. That's really a shame. 
It was lovely getting to know you. Enough. Dutch no oh okay close by It's a good trip though. He did. Let him then. I'm not gonna care about it. You ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone. At dawn. They said the young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. This is a tough time. You ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And as long as a goddamn train. Arthur! <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Anyone who questioned him will all get killed. Repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. 
We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Duchess of course, gone. Pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. Same thing is about to kind of happen in Blackwater. It's gonna happen now. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Remember how many people died at the Blackwater and Let's a lot go. of money? Basically, yeah. this card trick get rid of anyone who asks questions and then take the money and do repents and repeat, you know? Basically, using you to do their bidding. Simple warning is that. Using you to do their dirty bidding. Get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Sarcasm. Welcome to Lemoy. Got everything. 
My guy basically a snake. Simple as that. Not much further now. That's a lot of police. They stop the train. They're not gonna stop. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through it this? Of course we are. Oh my god. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! You are so dumb. But that's what love is. People are just so dumb at it. Shit. Push up! 
They just let you do all the work, you dumb fuck. They tricked you from day one, you dumb fuck. That is the most stupidest thing I ever see. What the hell? Oh my god, I wasn't meant to do that, dumb fuck. The game just come fucking glitch on me, it just run forwards on its own. Jeez. Together on you, my ass. You just a nobody and just came on. Jeez. Watch the rat. Yeah, finish him. How the hell do I get sailed with you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth. On the left. You can't turn the gun at all. Look out on the right. Got a head blown off. That's it. I don't take orders from you. But I will, you dumb. Okay, get off the gun. We need to go for the money. Come on. The money should be in the front carriage. Basically, these two are just another two idiots are being replaced, you know. You kill off some, you bring new some, you know. Let's go! The money's in their carriage! Alright, this is better. Blow this thing.
move. All four of them still rob, but Dutch and they're still okay. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. They had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. He understand now. Javier. Pity. Red Dead Redemption. Gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Oh, uh, Stryker, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur, but he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. Oh. Oh, Javier. Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack. And you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Ed. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. You live Jack, a good life now. Come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah, he's the one. Bye -bye. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. I understand. I would do the same thing too because I understand what it means to sacrifice. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, okay. and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, Maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Avi, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. Give me a second. Okay. What's left of it? Now come on. Okay. Oh, no. Here we go. 
here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Not get really. Get someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. <sighs> and cover me. Please. Okay. Get She doesn't even try getting a better gun. What the f is? Oh my god! I'm I'm taking a low gun too. High voltage gun PowerPoint. Jesus. Same place, huh? Okay, Mr. Milton, where are you? There you are, you bastard. Okay. shooting yeah, I, got I, you. I kill all of them already wow move Sadie move Shit, I couldn't shoot. Fuck. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Not really. Okay. Double handgun.
use it much, might as well use it now. Almost die. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> you dumb fuck. Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Good. Horrible man. If you think about it, he's not a horrible man. Just doing his job. Now come on, both of you. He did what is right. You all just think. We need to get the hell out. Strobe localosis, huh? <laughs> Who would expect that to be that kind? One side of the story, Abigail. They just doing their job, and you just rob people. Of course, they're gonna kill you. In their eye, you are the bad guy. Oh. 
learn the series. You still okay there, I'm good. I'm good. Get that bit faster than us. Shoot the officers. Shoot the officers. Master, grab me outside camp. I was a million jack. It happened so fast, I couldn't do anything. It's all right. Jack and Tilly are fine. Ladies, Ladies. I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. Oh, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. Best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in the caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Gail Roberts. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Rye, Arthur. Rye. The last moment of living. He has to do what he must. They just use you, Arthur. Like everybody else. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. You saved my life. You're a good man. Thank you, fellow. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe 
Today's the sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Doing good thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Lung, you're back, hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you wretch. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, Capo? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John, you left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! What is... All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, Miss Grimshaw. Now! Who amongst you is with me? Oh, Miss Grimshaw. And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying! Oh, Javier. Put your guns down! Stop, damn it! Move! <clears throat> you ready, John? Yeah. Everyone oh, got Man. Down. The gang's broken apart. Oh. I pity Arthur so it's much. Haha. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, you got us now, then let's go. Let's do this. Exactly.
I didn't even see. I died at one for certain. Miss Grimshaw's dead. Come on, Arthur! Into the caves! Quick! They're running into the caves! Chase them down! Go! Go! After them! Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. No. I know. On the left, Arthur. I'll keep Dutch busy. There's Pickens in town. Oh my God, Dutch. Oh, my horse is dead. <laughs> Brother, let's go. Give me a second. 
Come on! Push, Arthur! Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Oh, shit. Arthur, just... I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened if I chose to go for the money, though? Who won that, though? That kill both of them? Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. I know. Final stand. You're gonna bleed. Yeah. I got you now, Black Lung. Rat, you rat. I'm a survivor, Black Lung. A survivor. That's all there is. Survivor are all tr mostly traitors. Oh, Black Lung, you don't know how much I belong to do this. Hope you're ready for hell. Die! 
Pure skill. If only one chance I could kill him, I'll do it. Milton told me. Oh my god, I counter. Damn it, he countered every one of us. You goddamn traitor. Yeah, who's a traitor? You or me? Can't you see? I've won. Break, break, break. You weak fool. Oh, fuck, he grabbed me right here. Oh, I block. All there is winning and losing. God damn you. It is over. Now. What is it? It's over. Oh, God. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He still have some soul. He's, sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. He still have some heart. He's starting to see true loyalty again. Come on. Dutch, let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. Sean made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us dead. No. I tried. <laughs> In the end, I'm dead. <gasps> Come on. Let's go. We can make it. <sighs> Come on, Dutch. Come on!
I didn't get shot in the head. Think about it. I was supposed to get shot in the head by Micah right here. But this time I die peacefully without getting gunshot. Oh, it's a good ending. Bad ending, I get shot in the head. Good ending, I uh, get the deer. I see. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. You gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know that, like, good, honest, hard-working men, a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I'm always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Man, this is a hayride. <laughs> what? Sorry, sir. What was that? You said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? We don't want Jack falling out and hitting his head again. Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And, and Lady me. Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Okay, now back to what you were saying. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. My god. Dumb f This is what... Hey, partner. Hey. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. 
Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Okay. We are now John Marston. Damn. Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Rise slow at all. It's gonna take all while. Whoa! It's just so fast on its own, you know. This is a normal speed already. Okay. This is as slow as I can go, I suppose. So many things you all blind to see. Oh, Jim. You go past it and north. I didn't talk because I want to enjoy some peace and quiet, that's all. Now we go north. Because if when you trying to live in the game, you must don't just take action. You need to see the game as your real life to understand why the writer write it like this. When you completely understand it, it feels like every action you make in the game are truly your own truly live it so you understand what's right and wrong 
And some of you might even understand two sides of the world as well. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. Hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Oh my god. Stop the wagon. You can walk wagon. or jump on it. Oh my god, this horse is really slow. That horse dead. Never yeah, expect that though. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got, we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here, you're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. No, no you stay here. It's getting late. 
We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Wow, this mi last mission take two hour. Okay, it's the end, huh? I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Epilogue part one.